Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. So today what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to do 10 cheap and easy resin pendants. So 10 different ideas that aren't going to cost you hardly anything, but make some great pendants. So stick around while I go through each one with you. Just as an example, two of the pendants I'm going to make with these sharpenings from coloured pencils and with these little tiny jump rings that I don't use. And they cost next to nothing. Well, they cost nothing because I kept them when I was sharpening my coloured pencils. <laughs> <laughs> I have eight other ideas as well, which are equally as easy, but will give you some great results. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I ring that dinkle bell, dinkle bell, dinkle bell. So that you get notifications as well when my videos come out. And I will link everything that I use today in the description below with all the affiliate links so that there isn't any problem with you getting hold of any of the stuff that I've been using. So some of these projects will need me to pour and let it cure up for a little while and then put the item in I've got. And, and the others you can just do in one hit. I've added some gold mica powder into the resin here and I'm spreading it out getting rid of the bubbles and what I've got here is some mosaic tiles that I had left over from another project so I'm popping them in there and now I'm using the little gold jump rings and just filling that up and I will squash that down in a sec so it's nice and level and this one is for the crayon bits it's just normal crayons that I've grated up a little bit and popped into the resin and I will just spread those out a little bit so they don't all clump up Fill it up and let that cure. And then I'm moving on to the little glass seed beads, which try and keep into one place, but obviously I can't because I'm very messy. So I'm now picking those up and putting them in to the mould where they should have gone the first time. Again, mixing them around so that they're not all clumped up and topping this one up too. And I'm just using a normal art resin here. That one is for the pencil sharpening. So well, what I did with this was I just kept layering them up, pushing them down, layering them up and pushing them down and then when i felt i needed to add a tiny bit more resin i just added a little bit more resin and i put the sharpening crumbs in as well just to add a little bit of color to those as well topping it up and now i'm using the salt and glitter i wish i'd used larger chunks of salt because it would have showed up a little bit more but i think i do like the effect that it gives at the end and if you see at the end you'll see so give that a good mix around add my resin to the glitter stir that up and then just pop that directly into the mold and then i'll leave these to cure up about four hours so these are ready now for me to put my next bits in and what i've done is i've got some pistachio shells that i've just given a paint with the metallic arteza paints and all i'm going to do is pop those into the heart and push them in and then let that heal heal let that cure up and the next one what i've got is i've got this piece of mother of pearl that i had left over and it's a really pretty bit of mother of pearl so all i'm going to do now with this one is i'm going to pop that in to there making sure that that's fairly even all the way around push it down okay and then let that one cure up and then i have some dried flowers that i want to use for this next one and I'm just going to pop that into there like that. I've got a little bit of greenery there. And a little bit of greenery there as well. Now, I've done this forward facing because I intend to dome this one after it's finished. And I probably will dome a couple of them. I don't need to work in reverse for that. So that's that one done. And then these ones I'll finish off. I've still got another one to finish off as soon as this bit's gone completely hard on this one. And the other pendants are all curing up nicely. So we will come back to this once I need to put the final layers on and then we can have a look at it when it's cured. I'd just like to say a big thank you to all my members of this channel whose names are coming up next. If you'd like to become a member, then the link's in the description. There are a lot of perks for being a member. And also, if you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you for all the videos that I make and all the experiments that I do, it really does help because this is my only source of income now. So it's all a bit worrying. But thanks to everybody that has been so generous and helpful, it's allowed me to keep making these videos. So these have all cured now. And these are the ones that don't need to have anything else 
done to them apart from this one and this one where I stuck my finger in the resin and it left a fingerprint before it was fully cured. We all know we shouldn't do that but we can't help ourselves. So I'm going to slightly dome those two and these I just need to add another clear layer to them. I won't show you me pouring that layer because that can be a bit tedious just seeing me pour a little bit of clear resin. Before I pour my next layer on them is I will add this sticker that I made. If you want to know how I make the stickers, I'll link a video in the description and also at the end of this video that will take you straight to one to make your own homemade stickers. I just need to pour that, peel that off. That sticker is now on there and all it was done was homemade sticker. I drew the little picture and it it's just photocopied onto photo paper. I'm not going to seal it or do anything with it. It should be fine in there with that small amount of resin. But these have all finished now and they're all cured. So it's just about demolding them now. And uh, this is obviously always my favorite bit. And it's nice to have 10 different ways to make up little pendants. And the other thing is these all come out quite original as well because there's something that you've made and that you can show off and either sell or wear yourself or give away as gifts that's them all finished now i'm not going to make these up into pendants because i'm sure you've seen me do this many times before and if you haven't then i will link the video at the end of this one that shows you how to make everything up into some really nice jewelry now i love the way the sticker one has come out i always think they come out really really nice and it's something that you've drawn yourself. The little mosaic tiles, that's come out nice. In fact, the only thing I wish I'd done is I just used one colour as opposed to using two colours. I think that might have looked a little bit more uniformed. But I like the way that's come out. The flower, as always, that has come out lovely. I love using flowers in resin. Especially ones if you've dried or pressed them yourself. Crayons come out really well. The pencil sharpenings one, I think that's really pretty. I think... It just gives it, I don't know, it's just so unique, a piece. I love that. This is the salt and the glitter. And if you use a larger salt crystal, then you will get bits of crystal in that. And this is the pistachio nuts that I go with, which I think looks a little bit rude. I think it looks like a bit like a bum. But there we go. I do like it. It's colourful, it's bright and it's fun and the piece of um, mother of pearl always looks lovely with resin on it because it just gives it that extra bit of sheen inside all the tiny little jump rings they've come out really well i think they look very very pretty and just unique and you can use whatever color because jump rings come in lots of different colors as well and these are just the little seed beads that i used and i think that one's come out really well too so let me know what you think of these in the comments and which one your favourite is, if you've got a favourite. If you want to know how I would make these up into jewellery pieces, then I do have a video on that, which I'll link at the end of this one. And I'll also pop it in the description. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And ring that bell. I will leave links to everything that I've used and I've done today in the description below so that you can easily get hold of anything that I've used. So enjoy your resin, take care, check out the video that's coming up at the end. I look forward to seeing you in that one. Bye.